the Aurora Borealis. And nothing is boring about this. The incredible northern lights have really just been the talk of the town. Visible as far south as Florida. We caught them right here in Arizona as well. Meteorologist Jorge Torres going through the hundreds of photos that you all shared with us and finding out this could happen again soon. From Payson to Paulden, from Queen Creek to Cave Creek, from the high country to the valley, almost every corner of the state catching a glimpse to one of astronomy's rare events in the low latitudes Friday night, the Northern Lights. The, the fact that people in, you know, southern states in the U.S. were actually seeing aurora overhead, uh, that means this was a very, very energetic storm. The solar storm is one of the strongest recorded in nearly 20 years, hitting the Earth's magnetic field, trapping the solar winds and hitting the upper atmosphere, leading to the auroras that many of you saw Friday night, which had noticeable shades of pink and red here. There's a reason for that. That is from atomic oxygen. So we, we breathe, you know, molecular oxygen up at these altitudes. Uh, the oxygen actually gets split apart into atomic oxygen. And so those colors are from that. This occurring during the cycle in which the sun's magnetic field is reversing, known as a solar maximum. This happens every 11 years and we're at the peak. So there is a chance the auroras can be seen again. But the stars, or in this case, the sun, would need to align. Next two to three years are probably the, the highest likelihood of seeing more big storms like this. But no guarantees, you know, it's it, it's just kind of stochastic. Reporting in Phoenix, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.